Hello and welcome to 30 Days to Learn Photoshop. This is day five, sidebar panels. I'm Ben Gribbin and in this lesson we are having an introduction to sidebar panels and also we're going to look at how to work with them, i.e. removing, editing and deleting them. So let's head straight to Photoshop so we can show you what side panels are. These are your side panels. Now they're all grouped together into a side panel selection to a group of the side panels. Each one is its own panel and this is your sort of default panel setup. You've got the navigator which is uh, essentially a way of, it's kind of like a map of whatever document you're working on. It's an overview, you can click on it and drag it around. In fact let me just show you that now. Let's open up the image we've been using as our display image. If we go onto the navigator, uh, if we zoom in should I say, we can then drag around using the navigator and navigate around our image, hence it's called the navigator. We can also zoom in and out using that. And essentially what sidebar panels are, are just shortcuts and little windows that display the most used, most important settings and variables within Photoshop. We've got things like the navigator panels we've just mentioned. We've also got this handy colour palette which is kind of additional to the colour palette we've, we've t discussed over here. You can use this to actually control the amount of red, green and blue. You can actually type in the specific colour code if you have one. So if we just try that you see it changes the colour. We can set the background colour as well. It's also got things like swatches, styles, it's got the history sidebar panel. That's quite handy to just leave open all the time because it allows you to return to previous history states. We've also got actions which we'll discuss in one of the lessons in this course and a histogram which is useful for when you're working with pictures. And also we've got the layers palette. Now this is probably one of the or if not the most used sections of the sidebar panels because we're going to discuss layers in our next lesson but when you're working with layers you actually need to switch between layers quite quickly and easily and in order to do that you use this layers palette down here so it quickly becomes one of the most used sidebar panels really. So we've shown you some of the sidebar panels you will be using. We've got colour palette, swatches, styles, history, actions and layers um, and there's some over here as well. There's the typographic panel so you've got character and paragraph settings for text, you can change the fonts, you can change the styles, the font weights, the leading kerning, all kinds of stuff from this one menu including the, the current uh, spelling, checking language, the, the kind of way fonts are displayed, how sharp they are. So it's quite a detailed setup but it also allows you to keep your interface nice and clean without getting in the way of the actual image you're working on. So we've got the grey bars along the top of this panel. What this will do if we click on collapse to icons it will actually minimise all of those. So depending on the size of your screen and, and what resolution you're working at you might prefer just to have them sort of minimised like this and if you want to click on layers you just click on it and it opens it up. But I actually prefer them opened up like this because I can drag through all the different styles. If I've got loads of layers I get a nice scroll bar and they're always there so that's why I have them like that. If you want to resize them they work just like any sort of window in uh, on your computer so you can literally hover over the edge of them so you get this, lo this uh, little up and down cursor and you can just drag them about, resize them as you want. Perhaps if you want something open but not too big you can just make it a little bit smaller. So they are resizable you can do them lengthways and horizontally if you really wanted them to be this big we could then resize the image like so. So there's a lot of options there. If for example you don't want some of them that's fine you can completely remove them uh, obviously you can get them back again. So let's say we, we don't want the, the histogram all you need to do is click on this little icon here with the, the arrow and the kind of lines and just click on close tab or if you want to get rid of more than one at once click on close tab group so if we click close there we've got rid of it uh, if we want to get rid of the the styles one we can just close this one we can close swatches 
again by doing the same thing finding the close tab or close group and we can just simplify it strip out any ones that we don't want or that we find a little bit confusing and don't quite need so let's go and resize that back to how I like it and just one last thing if you if you do want to get them back all you need to do is go on windows and all of these options here are actually sidebar panels some of them have got shortcuts so layers if you hit F7 that will take you to your layers palette and also info is F8 but if you want to get them back just click on them and they will appear again as if by magic so that's not a problem we deleted the the swatches just click on it and they come back so that's how you edit and remove them you can drag them around as well by clicking on the tops of them and just literally repositioning them so they're a very handy tool within Photoshop and you will use them a lot just one last thing if you want to strip them out so you can use say you're working on a certain area of an image and you want to flick between layers without having to go all the way over to this corner let's say we're zoomed right in we're doing some really high detail work here with multiple layers all you need to do is click on this background this gray background and you can actually drag it over to here and let's just uh, extend it out like so and we can then use this as a kind of movable palette almost as if you were if you're working on a desk you could pick something up and put it on your desk what near whatever you're working on you can do the same sort of thing in Photoshop so now we could be painting here like so and then flick to another layer and do this flick back so that's that's a pretty handy option to be able to have and if you just want to put it back grab all this darker gray panel on the top drag it back till you get a sort of blue line and drop it back into place so in today's lesson we have considered sidebar panels what they are and also we've looked at ways we can use them how to remove and edit them and also just some of the we've covered some of the main sidebar panels that you will be using and your task for this lesson is to practice removing and re-adding panels you need to get kind of fluent with it just in case you move one of them by accident or you accidentally delete them and also start customizing panels to your liking if you like the layers nice and big or the uh, the navigator at the top do that drag them around move them to how you want them next time on 30 days to learn photoshop it's our layers intro thanks for listening